Hi guys, welcome along. This is Rival Kingdoms. You're watching Mikus, and today let's go into the event details as it's very close to being released now. So let's go through all the details and then we'll go for a quick raid using uh, Yelnady, of course, and then um, we might go in some uh, Lupita raids as well. Uh, possibly, actually, rather than Yelnady, we might switch to Viscaria and I can show you how to use the two ancients. Okay, so starting off, Viscaria finds the Feral Lupta frantic and bloodstained, clutching a glowing red pendant within her claws. Lupita, now far from home, had relied on this family heirloom to keep in touch with her remaining humanity. However, the woman she was within was still a person of cunning, guile, and viciousness. Every time she relied on her memories, she filled the pendant with even more rage and hatred. Meant to save her, now the pendant was evolving Lupta into something even worse. Viscaria, seeing the feral beast within her with eyes of fury and despair, knew that the Lupine had to be stopped. Not just for the sake of her home, but for Lupta's own good. With the power of the ancient crystals known to be within the dragon's jungle roost, there may be some hope after all. Okay, so Lupta is actually one of the strongest ancients around, believe it or not, and she relies on the full moon. So right now, it's actually a very small moon. It was a, a new moon a couple of nights ago, I believe. Uh, so her power is actually quite low right now. But she is still quite strong as it is. Uh, my Lupita is currently maxed and she's at level 40. If I go in, here we go, level 40 right now because she is a rare. But uh, as we, we continue to uh, unlock the, the uh, essential tools, she'll be able to go up to legendary. So very excited about that. So let's go in and have a look at the prizes. Okay, so. As I scroll down, sorry about that, Clash Clan's being raided. Okay, so the full moon chest is available at lo uh, 1,000 Lost Souls. So uh, for the points, I'll go through the points in just a moment. Let's go through the prizes first. So 1,000 Lost Souls, the Lost Souls are the currency of the event. Uh, you'll get the full moon chest. At 2,000 Lost Souls, you'll get 10 crystals uh, used for... Uh, if you don't have Lupta, you can create Lupta with the crystals. Uh, at 4,000 Lost Souls, you'll get two more full moon chests. Uh, at 7,000 Lost Souls, you'll get 30 more crystals. Crystals? I said that with a little bit of a posh accent. Crystals? At 14,000 Lost Souls, you'll get 30 Mithril Shards. At 26,000 um, Lost Souls, you'll get 50 crystals. At 40,000 Lost Souls, you'll get three Battle Stones. Moving on, a big jump. At 60,000 Lost Souls, you'll get 60 more Crystals. At 65,000 Lost Souls, you'll get three more Full Moon Chests. At 70,000 Lost Souls, you'll get 30 Mithril Shards. And 75,000 Lost Souls, you'll receive 10,000 Primus, Nature Primus. At 85,000 mithril, uh, at 85,000 lost souls, you'll get 30 more mithril shards, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them because I have so many. It's not funny. I've got about, I think about 400 of them right now, and I just don't use them. So I'm going crazy with them. Uh, and the big prize, the full moon pendant, you can win at 100,000 lost souls. Now do beware, that will actually bring you up to epic which is level 50, and with the Blood Moon uh, pendant, you'll be able to extend a, ascend a, to um, Legendary. So if you get the Full Moon pendant, you will not actually have to craft it. Okay, so let's have a look at the Kingdom Rewards. So the number one, the number one group or Kingdom will have these things. They will get their name colored to purple. They will get the Blood Moon Pendant, which is the legendary uh, ascension tool. 
they'll get a gold statue chest and 40,000 pure primers to help boost up Lupta as quick as possible. So from second place through to fifth place, they will receive the Blood Moon Pendant, a gold statue chest, and of course 40,000 pure primers. From sixth place through to 20th, they will receive the Blood Moon Pendant, a silver statue chest instead, and 40,000 pure primers. And from, one, uh, from 21st place to 120th place, instead of the gold or silver statue chest, it will be a bronze statue chest, and of course the Blood Moon Pendant and 20,000 pure primers. And then the top 121st through the 320th place will just receive the primus, 20,000 pure primus, and of course the bronze statue chest. So let's have a look at the other thing, which is the alchemy workshop. So if you have a level one alchemy workshop, you'll be able to go in and we will have, you've got your battle boosts, which is for, of course, your bloodthirst, cold blood, uh, essence boost, and your guardian. Uh, no more eggs. I don't know why. Um, the mithril, of course, you can make mithril, which I don't even bother because I don't want to use the rings. And, of course, the unique recipes. So let's have a look at the unique recipes. So Lupita will be unlocked. If you don't have her, you can use your 150 crystals to unlock her, along with one Death Knight Battle Boost, so make sure to have one safe, uh, one Bloodthirst, and of course 100,000 gold. So very easy, very cheap, and uh, as long as you got 150 crystals, which I think it was 60,000 uh, Lost Souls, you'll be able to get her. So it is a kingdom event, so push hard and work together. So to uh, ascend her to epic, if you don't get the 100,000 lost souls and you already have Lupita like me, you'll be able to spend 90 uh, crystals, three death knight battle boosts and the blood thirst, as well as half a million gold will unlock this full moon pendant. Now, I'm not sure if you buy this and then you get the 100,000, if you get back to crystals or not. Uh, maybe that's a question I can ask uh, Space Ape. But um, it would probably make sense that you, you would get it back, but I'm not sure. And, of course, the Sleeping Flame Sigil uh, is also available um, if you have 70 crystals. Uh, 10 fire elemental battle boosts, so I need to get them quick, uh, and then uh, half a million gold as well, and that will be able to ascend um, either Ania or Sorik up to the next level. So if you've got them at, uh, for example, like me, if you've got them at rare, then uh, you can ascend them to epic. So let's go in and let's have a quick battle as I collect all my gold. And this one we're going to... Currently they've uh, kind of stuffed up the uh, matchmaking. They need to fix it. Uh, let's go back. So I don't want to go too hard because... Uh, what the? A level 11, definitely. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys... Uh, we don't need that. We're going to go with uh, Viscario. So my Viscario is only level 29. Uh, but let's change. So Lipta I will use in the Kingdom Raids because I don't want to risk um, losing uh, easy battles, so to speak. Okay, so Viscario has three moves. So sh she has... She, he, I think... This courier is a girl, I believe. So she's got Toxic Nova, which soaks the target area with poison. Uh, she's got Poison Touch, which uh, affects the troops, so the troops give poison. And then she's got Expunge, which uh, removes the poison from buildings and deals a ton load of damage. Now, this courier herself also deals poison when she flies. So let's uh, first use this 
and we're going to fly her across the base. Let's just speed this up so you guys aren't bored. So this looks like a mini because Atlantis 4 tends to have bigger bases. And we're just going to send her across base again twice. And there she goes. She's kind of slow. Just, you, well, theoretically, you should probably use this poison touch with all your troops. So they're just going to poison everything. And of course, this base is a little bit easy. And then expunge, expunge. And expunge just absolutely annihilates. And of course, you can throw that on. Okay, so this one does damage to buildings. This one does, uh, makes your troops give poison to buildings. Uh, and that's over 10 seconds and that one's over 12 seconds and then expunge just removes the poison but it explodes the building um, expunge as you can see just there anyway uh let's switch over to the kingdom raids it's a nice little um attack there let's pick up this uh superior arena chest so as i said before uh, oh nice 2200 diamonds uh so as i said before um they sort of played around with the matchmaking and uh, kind of stuffed it up. And so now I've been attacked uh, 50 times overnight and uh, lost 400 trophies. And by the looks of it, I just got attacked again. Um, so let's go into the Kingdom Raids. Let's go battle. And we're going to use uh, Lupta this time. So Lupta is a little bit different. So we've got a pretty easy one here. So I might use Lupta a couple times. Oh, very easy. Okay, so let's switch to Lupta. And let's switch the dragon back to Talison. Uh, just because Talison is my strongest. Lupta is very slow, but um, Talison is very fast. Okay, so Lupta has uh, three different spells. The first one is Frenzy, which boosts the attack speed, and it also gives a small health benefit uh, over time, over five seconds. And if your troops that are affected take out a building, it will refresh. So they have five seconds to take out the building, and then it will refresh. Okay, so the second one is Stare Down, and this will disable and damage a building. So this is best used on towers like this one here, uh, which is your, uh, your Cursed Touch tower. It's also good on, in fact, it's good on all spell towers uh, and your flare towers. So you want to try and avoid this one here and uh, also try and avoid Zilla until you've actually used that. And then the first, third one is the Lycanthropy bit of a tongue twister there but uh, after 30 seconds so uh, for 30 seconds they have to stay alive after 30 seconds for the rest of the battle they will have a bonus amount of health uh, given to them and that will uh, sort of uh, how can I explain uh, they, they will keep healing themselves over time just like the the first one frenzy uh, they will heal themselves. Also, they gain an extra 35% damage mitigation and life steal for the rest of the battle. Okay. Now, you'll notice at the bottom there is a blue uh, thing as well, like plus 6.67%. Um, and that is only on the lycanthropy. Now, you'll notice that all of them have like blue numbers, 0.02 and then 10 and 0.05 seconds. That is based on the moon cycles. So when it's a full moon, that will actually increase. And when it's a new moon, that will be pretty much zero. Okay, so Lupita is based on the moon. And it's actually coded in the coding. So let's go in and let's attack. So the strategy is one, 
two, three, four. Okay, so one more time. First one, second one, third one, fourth one. Now, as you'll know, not all battles go like that, so it may not work like that. But let's have a go. Let's try and open up and let's get rid of those troops that are distracting. Let's send these in. One, two, and we probably won't even need that. Three, and we do because they just lost it. Uh, we don't need the lycanthropy. Four, five, six, and you'll notice the buildings aren't working. And it's all over now. Um, that was kind of an easy base, though. So um, let's just speed that up. No, let's just quit out of that. We've got the win. Okay, so let's go into the next one. We'll do one more attack, and I will finish it on this note. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Comment down below and share with your friends. And, of course, uh, stay tuned as more content will be coming uh, if I can get up to a thousand subscribers and push even more and start getting some sort of income, I might be able to change my uh, my my uh, movie making software and uh, in make videos that are a bit better like I did before. But right now, I don't have access to that, so um, bear with me as the quality is not as good as what it was. But um, let's go in. Let's attack. Sorry, Daddy. Thanks for your, your uh, words of wisdom. Okay, so let's go in, and uh, I'll leave you on this note. Thanks for watching, guys. Wherever you are in the world, have a great day. Good luck in the event, and cheers.